death awaits you. Greetings, viewers. Brad Prider, Barstool Entertainment, continuing on with um, a large volume of Skyrim videos. I apologize for those who come to this channel to watch Red Dead or some other videos. The reason being is I have a lot of Skyrim footage and I want to get through it. And the reason I have a lot of Skyrim footage is I can play maybe an hour or so of Skyrim and record a lot more events and dungeons than I would with, let's say, Red Dead Redemption or any other video game because of the fast travel feature. It's, like I said, I can explore Skyrim, find a bunch of places, then fast travel to them, go through the lair, dungeon, whatever, and record it, and then move on to something else. Well, this one is Pine Watch, and I had done a video about building a house, Lakeview Manor, and Pine Watch is not too far from Lakeview Manor, which makes things a little convenient for mm, hauling treasure when you become encumbered. But I digress. Let's get on with Pine Watch. When you purchase the property to build Lakeview Manor on, you're given directions. Pine Watch is one of those places that you have to get to in order to get to your property to build Lakeview Manor. And it is a unassuming um, cabin in the woods, and if you look at it, there's really nothing special to it. But what is special is inside this cabin. And, well, there are bandits in this cabin, and a very nice, how shall I say, hoard of treasure. Once you get into Pine Watch, there's a lot of stuff to find. Someone there? Now you killed the first bandit and you can take his stuff. Anything you take from Pine Watch here is considered stealing. I don't really care. I've got a nice collection of goat wheel cheese. Oh, there's the dwarven axe that I have in the display cabinet in Lakeview Manor that I can't seem to sell, that I enchanted. Well, now I know where it came from. And again, anything you take, it's considered stealing. And yeah, Pine Watch has something hidden. And around this, there's a lot of loot. And one of the things you can do is stockpile your loot in an area where you can get to it a little easier and then haul it back. And Pine Watch being close to Lakeview Manor, well, hey, makes life even easier. Now, down in the basement here, there's other stuff you can look around and steal. Again, not really stuff that is of any real value and maybe find some gold or whatever. Um, again, I, I grab some cheese because I have this weird obsession with wheels of goat cheese that I love to stack in my um, manner. Now here you have gold and then a note, and it says, in the meantime, I'll keep breaking down this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Rigel Strongarm is the leader, you know, and 
again, there is a lot of loot and a lot of stuff. The guy who is watching things, they, they'll they give him some booze to keep him happy. You know, have some wine. We left it behind the shelf. That indicates that the shelf opens. And there's a button around here. I missed it. But this shelf should open. And there should be something behind it. And let's see. I'm going to cast candlelight because I'm going to be going into a dungeon and I want to see ah yeah gold yep there's a little bit of gold leading to the shelf here and the button is right here so the shelf pops open and I'm going to arm my weapons and we will go down here and we'll kick the bucket down and we'll see what's going on As you saw, there was a murdered high elf, and there are some guards here, so let's snipe them down. That was a good kill shot. The other guy is going to come around, possibly. Well, okay, uh, sneak back over here, or sneak over here, nothing there. And we'll see what I can do about taking down the... There's no other people here. I'm going to take down the other guard here. Always loot the corpses. There's usually something there like gold or my ebony arrow that I want back that will be on these guys. Gold primarily. Iron, steel, hide. Yeah, get rid of that. Now there's this wooden door here which has a expert level lock. Unless you have 100%, um, how shall I say, uh, lock picking skills and there's a way to do it where you just need one lock pick and only one lock pick have over a hundred lock picks or close to a hundred lock picks because you will shed those things very quickly and again there's some nice potions nothing but wine mm, frostbite venom might come in handy but yeah and now that I've looted this closet, um, I'm going to cast more candlelight, and we're going to keep moving through this dungeon. Walking through nothing, we come upon these people right here, and I'm going to try and take this guy. Ah, I'm discovered. Let's take her out, and let's fight these bad guys. Oh, they're retreating quickly. Let's see, I might as well just charge right in with the both dragon bone blades and take these guys down.
okay, there's not really a lot around here, and you can walk up to this. I'm going to try and jump over. There she is. I'll take her down. And once, yeah, beautiful kill shot there. Loot her. And let's see, Dwarven Arrows you can resell, make a little profit. I'll see if I can dump anything onto her that I don't need. Nope. So far, good stuff. Um, I'm not going to go down there. You can walk up to the top here of this platform. I'm going to head over here. And this is where you can look around. And again, like I said, there's nothing here. I'm going to try and drag and run across, you know, whatever it is, whirlwind sprint. But again, you can walk up to the top of that platform. I'm just trying whirlwind sprint and it didn't work. Yeah, well, whatever. Gonna get up to the top here. Yeah, candlelight. Yeah. The only reason I'm using candlelight is so I can see. I can adjust the brightness of whatever it is. But up here, you walk up and there's a treasure chest. A little novice lock picking. And you should be able to get it open. Gold, orc bow, not bad. I'm going to just jump down here, come down this area, and maybe there is, nope, nothing interesting here. This guy, I take him out, kind of easy. I only got one sword. What the hell? There we go. Take him out, and ebony arrow, warhammer, yeah. And there's some gold on the ground here, which I advise you pick up hey every little bit of gold helps and you get into the bandit sanctuary and this is where things get interesting If you loot these bandits, you see a letter. Come on, it won't be that bad. Rigel may be paranoid, but she has drunk as a mammoth. Body hair like one, two. I'm just saying if we can get into the treasure room, we would be set. We could just take the money and head north to catch a ship. I know a guy where whose cousin knows a guy that could get us set up with some pirates in Hammerfell, and in the meantime, in other words, they're going to rob their uh, um, boss. And there's a treasure room. Like I said, there is a lot of loot. And again, you read the note, they're all in alliance. And the other guy ran off, I got to go find him and take him down, and then we can get on to finding this treasure room and again there's a lot of loot at some point you're going to be encumbered and you're going to want to just find a barrel to hide your loot in that you can come back and retrieve later This is where my character has become encumbered and again you just want to find a permanent thing like a barrel where you can just dump stuff and come back later this place has so much available stuff for you to sell that yeah I'm just gonna dump it in this barrel and the books anything 
I'm still carrying too much. This is where you kind of need to pack stuff. And the elixir of strength, yeah. Well, again, I'm just going to pack stuff in. Any weapons, unenchanted, I'm going to get rid of some of this stuff, store it. At some point, yeah, I'll get rid of these robes. This is where you will, again, need to haul stuff and decide what you need to put into these barrels. I'm going to get rid of the dragon bones and scales. I really don't need them. I'll pick them up later. They are probably the heaviest things. This is called stashing, or at least I call it stashing, where you just dump stuff into a place where you can find it later, come back later. I'm going to, again, let's move on with this whole um, event. What's interesting is these bandits are really well armed, and then you have these draugers that you can loot. And let's move forward. Uh, check out the draugers. You, you always got to explore every nook and cranny of Skyrim. And let's get here. Oh, the bandits hide out. They're sleeping, and well, I'm going to fight them all. was a little foolish of me to try and do that but I have enough healing potions and the armor I'm wearing dragon bone armor is the heaviest armor it's modified up to legendary yep here we go more more notes um basically the leader is warning them if they try anything she'll kill them but uh, you know I mean these bandits, they're bandits. And there's a lot of good stuff here. I'm not becoming that encumbered yet. Elven helmet, I'll take. But again, if you have your armor, you don't need to do anything really major to. Once you get dragon bone armor up to legendary, you're covered with a lot of protection. And let's see, yeah, nothing here, nothing to see here. I'm going to fast forward just a tad bit. To end this little game, death awaits you. Oh. Oh. Okay, that is Rigel's strong arm. She's wearing Nordic carved armor, which is nice stuff. And well, now my character is a little encumbered, but I'm going to go with it, walk slowly, um, take a look around. I'm just going to fast forward again a little bit because I'm walking encumbered, and this is where I advise maybe doing some stashing. But you don't want to stash in too many areas, otherwise you're never going to find all the stuff. You want to kind of centralize or put it in some memorable area. That is the route to the gold. This is Rigel's room. And I'm going to investigate here. And this is the apprentice lockpick. This would actually be a good place to stash some stuff. But I digress. Ooh, God, I hate this. Like I said, always more than 99 to 100 lockpicks. 
And there we go. Pop that open. Let's take a look. Again, I'm going to just fast forward through this a little bit. Now, on your way to the treasure room, pay attention to the ground. There is going to be gold coins scattered throughout and even gold purses. Now, once you get to the treasure room, you got to walk slowly through here. And yes, I'm walking slowly. There's a drogger, which, eh, bone meal, gold worth taking. Here is the mean treasure room. And once you open it, it's tricky to get through, but the best way to get through it is slowly looking for trips and traps on the floor. And the main door here, just whirlwind sprint right across this, and you won't get hit by arrows which trigger and active effect whirlwind sprint, and you go straight across. There's arrows, you don't get hit too much, and you see the arrows are firing off a little bit. You open this door, there's a little jog in the hall, and right there you see a trip path. Right there you step on that, you'll trip the alarms or whatever, whatever trap goes off. I'll probably show the traps going off at the end, but another thing that'll trip a trap and you just walk your way around that. Again, you go slow. And you move your way very carefully through the hall. And keep an eye out for any triggers or trap triggers. And here you go. This should be the main room. Open the door. Yep, you get hit there, but that's not a big deal. There are... Other traps around here, potentially, you don't want to trigger them. Right there is a trap. You step on that, and something bad happens. Spikes, I believe. Do not touch that. But this is a lot of loot. And, yeah. This is a huge amount. You just take everything on this table, and there's a big treasure chest there. You can dump it all in if you need to and stash stuff. Look at all this. Gold coins, all kinds of things. You have an unusual candle holder there with an unusual mold, which you'll eventually have to find out what's going on. But yeah, look at all this. This is just a ton of stuff. And you just pick it all up, and then there is the master chest. I mean, this is a lot of gold, and you can understand why those guys wanted to steal it. I'll take this. I can't, ah, uh, there, I can finally pick that up. Curious silver mold and silver candlestick. Eventually, you'll find out what that is about. I'll probably do a video about it when I decide to. Uh, master chest here. Yeah. Now, madness orb. That is from the upgrade the 11th or 10th anniversary now i gotta decide what i'm gonna put into that chest actually i won't i'm going back to pine watch and there is a barred door which if you find it you won't be able to open it and here we go you got the bad guys you killed and now i'm gonna go down this way and I'm going to, you see that right there, that chest? I'm going to jump over and land. And that is the chest I'm going to use to store my loot in. It's an apprentice lock. Once you pick it, you know, once you get it open again, ah, yeah, lots of lock picks get damaged. And here we go. Uh, thought I had it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a pain in the ass, I can tell. Another lock pick broke. God, I, I should just fast forward through this, but I got it open. And this is where I'm going to stash everything. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to dump stuff in it. And like I said, you stash some stuff. Then you go back, get your other stash. 
and you can haul it back to your um, your main Lakeview Manor. And that's what I will eventually do. Again, I'm just stashing stuff in this area for easy to get to, easy peasy. After you get done with the treasure room, um, it is actually the end of the quest or adventure. I'm going to cut to, I missed a door on my way to return to get my other stash. And I'll show you where that is. I'm going to cut to it and not fast forward. In the room where you have the guard and the draugers, there is this one door here that is an apt lock pick. And I'm going to fast forward through the lock picking. Lock is open. There's this room. You usually, ah, crap, another lock. Damn it. Oh, uh, Lord, it's novice, so it should be easy and pop open. Yeah, some more stuff. Oh, spikes. Yeah, you got to look around here. And there are glass boots, steel arrows, pieces of gold, uh, soul gem. I'll take that temporarily. Some books that eh, I don't really want to take. Yeah, scaled armor, um, potions, that red eagle's sword. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Again, this room, I missed it, but it does have another unusual gem, which is, again, part of another quest. I'm going to cut to where I'm out of this pine watch because there's really nothing exciting after. Collected all my stashes and I am coming back here. There is a warning on this. Uh, you've all been warned about trying to break into my treasure room, but Roars didn't think I was serious. Now he's dead. You've all had your cut of the take already, and if I catch any of you dung lickers trying to break in again, I won't let the traps kill you. I'll do it myself. Rigel Strongarm. Yeah. Well, that is Pine Watch. I'm going to get back to Lakeview Manor and disperse the treasure. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you like this type of video, I post for a week. Hit the subscribe button and bell icon, and you'll be notified. I thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative. I thank you for subscribing. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.